Hey there, we're gonna talk about Scott's favorite thing, brining. Today we, got, we have a couple of pheasants that we're gonna be brining up. And just like you shouldn't cook whole ducks or geese, you shouldn't cook whole pheasant. The, the legs need to be cooked wet and slow, the breast hot and fast. The original brine was the water out of the Mediterranean and they realized that if they took their meat and soaked it in this salty solution, that one, it would, it would last a lot longer, but two, it actually retained its moisture. So basically a brine is salt, water, sugar, and whatever other seasoning you want. So if you have your, your high mountain brine mix, um, well I'm using my Wild Eats uh, lemon garlic and sage rub for this pheasant, or you could just mix uh, whatever seasoning you happen to like. Um, so we're gonna start out with a little bit of our, our lemon garlic and sage rub. And when you first start out, you want, to, you want to add a little bit of warm water. And that helps to dissolve both the salt, the sugar, as well as the seasoning. So we're gonna put, oh, about one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt, and about, oh, a half to three quarters of a tablespoon of brown sugar. We will then add that into a bowl, and we're gonna add cold water to that to cool it down so that we can submerge our, our pheasants in that. For these, we're not gonna need very much. We're just gonna add, oh, maybe two or three cups, and we're gonna go and put that over the top of our pheasant legs and breast. I have some, uh, some lime that I'm gonna squeeze in there. I have a little chilies that I'm gonna add. Now, this, you basically leave and set overnight. Okay, so we have had some of this uh, pheasant that has been brining for 24 hours and we're gonna, we're gonna pan roast the breasts. I prefer to do cut side down so it gets that sear in. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this turned over. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna sear it up too much, but we're gonna wait for that pan to get a little extra heat, pop it in a 400 degree oven, and like I said, three or four minutes, we'll be ready to go. All righty. There we go, pheasants. All right, so we let these rest for about five minutes and we're gonna turn it over here. I leave the skin on these guys because it just adds another level of flavor and fat and that is good. Pink is okay. A little bit of a pink is good as long as what we're looking for is that excess amount of moisture and you get that from one, the dry aging and two, the brining and three, not overcooking. So yes, Scott, you are right. Brining is definitely the way to go with your white meat. Enjoy.